right, everyone, welcome back to another Drive and Talk. Um, so yeah, today's topic that I want to discuss is people, people and stories. Um, I always get asked, uh, how long have you been doing this car interviews and what got you started? So, you know, some of you guys may know that what got me started was the, the lack of friends in the automotive, in the automotive world and the lack of knowledge about cars in general. So. That's how, that's how, in essence, I created this whole idea. And what keeps me going, I should say, is the stories behind it. Um, not everything that, that goes on with the, with the channel is fun, to be honest with you guys. No, it's not fun to, to be stuck in traffic on, on our way back from an interview, per se. It's not fun to uh, edit and then the editing software decides to freeze on you and erase your information now you gotta start the project all over again those parts are not fun but I think what keeps me going is the, the stories behind each and one of you guys whenever I meet up with one of you guys and I get to just listen to backgrounds lifestyle culture just different things that you guys have been through that is automotive and non automotive related that's really what you know, continues to drive me because I know that when I go and see somebody and I meet them, their car is what brought us together, but the stories behind uh, they have to share is what will keep us in the long run. Do I talk to every single individual that I have interviewed? No, I'll be honest with you guys. I, you know, I, I still have them on social media. We try to talk uh, here and there. Whenever I see them post something, you know, uh, I try to react to whatever it is. Uh, if I see that somebody hasn't posted in a while that I just kind of remember, I, I, I try to hit up, you know, through a DM and be like, man, how, you, how are you doing? You know, everything okay? Um, but no, I don't do it to every single person. And uh, But I try. I, I try. I, you know, Father's Day, I, I think I hit about 85% of the dudes that I know have kids. And, um, you know... So happy birth, uh, happy Father's Day, and and thank you for helping me in my journey. And it's it's time consuming, but I think it's it's worth it. Um. So funny story, I'm on my way to uh, to one of my buddies' uh, birthday gathering, and on my way right now, I was listening to Ed Milet. He's a motivational speaker. No, actually, I don't know if he would call himself a motivational speaker but he's a businessman has a podcast and so they were interviewing him and one of the things that the, the question was what are some of the biggest failures that you have experienced in this journey and did you ever think about quitting and, and one of the examples that he mentioned was when he was 28 and uh, he put this presentation and he was expecting about 60 people only 25 people showed up and that he kept thinking he was so um uh, demoralized about it and it's like is this even worth it like why am I even working so hard for this or you know it's easier to just go and work at a 9 to 5 where I don't have to do all this and I could relate to that um, in a way of like you work so hard for for certain individuals and then you you you, you want to host something and then nobody shows up and it's not because you're not important but I think it's because in their eyes, you're not important enough. And and so how that relates to the whole, what keeps me going is, I try to be as, as fair, I guess you would say, to to the car builders. If, if I say I'm gonna be there on a Saturday at 12, on the 12th at seven in the morning, I'm gonna be there. I'm not gonna be looking for a nicer car with nicer parts so then I can bell on you and be like, oh, sorry, man, I couldn't do it. I'm just gonna have something come up and then it's very easy to see when people are lying, right? So, as you guys know, we have amazing builds in, in the channel, but not all of them have $3,000 wheels and that's okay. Like, that's not why, why I go to somebody. Um, and to meet with them I've always said that the interview is 10 minutes man but we, we chat afterwards 
or you know we get coffee afterwards that's really the time that I get to enjoy it because then that's how we build relationships it's it's weird that a piece of metal will bring us together and it's weird that it, it brings all of you together I know that the prelude guys like I mentioned you guys are always you know giving each other high fives per se because it's a um, underestimated chassis and there's not a lot of platform for it uh, the DA dudes you know it's an Integra but it's it's a second gen and, and they feel a different way about it and, and they're tight knit community you know they're willing to help each other out and yes not all of them not everyone but you know for the most part I feel like that's that's what keeps them going and and that's what that's what bonds all of us there's the stories behind all this there's a reason why you guys watch the videos um, and you subscribe and if you actually watch more than one videos I, I want to say it's not so much about the car parts it has something to do with the build but I think you guys like the stories behind it you guys like the the format of it you want to know what got them into cars as opposed to yes yeah, they're T37s and they're very expensive okay move on I think that the reason why you guys are watching more than two three minutes it's because you want to hear the story otherwise you can you, the format of the channel is very simple let me get to know the story let's talk about the car any shout outs I like to think that a lot of us we, we like to hear the stories and see where, where we fall into that history you know in the late 90s and the early 2000s I wasn't around for NWP but it seems like it was the place to be I didn't try to rap at that time but but honestly it, it feels like just by talking to all these other people people is like damn I missed out like I wish I would have been I wish I would have experienced that but it just happens and and but it's part of it and that's a, that's what keeps me going the stories the stories behind everything and you know what ultimately at the end of the day if if we can't share more stories then what's the point material things come and go that's always going to be a thing um, it's us who we need to pass these stories on pass this, the legacy of the automotive world one day you're going to be old that you're not going to want to drive a, a manual car you're not going to you know you're not going to have the energy to buy a 90s Accord or a 90 Civic or a 90s Integra and that's okay but maybe through these videos you're going to inspire a 16, 17 year old kid out there who, like I said, it's the first time they 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 got an Integra and they don't know what to do with it, but they know they want to modify it. And so they hop on this automotive stuff and they watch this video and they get parts, they get a story behind it. Um, and just so you guys know, the guy behind the camera, he's, he's the one who keeps getting uh, energized from the stories that you guys have to share. There's nothing special about me, like I've said it. I don't know jack about cars but I, I like listening to people and ultimately I think that, that that goes a long way and ultimately I think that you guys have noticed that I really legitimately care about the person and the car I don't I don't want to sound like I know it all because I don't um, and I don't want to ever be judgy on the, the type of build that they build or or how or why they build that certain car if I'm showcasing the car it's because I really enjoy it but it's it's those things that keep me motivated you know it's just listening to my leg like to think like I I just don't want to do this anymore I'm done with it I think once the stories stop or once people are willing are not willing to share stories with me then that's 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 where it ends that's just not it won't be worth it to me because uh, to, to, to see cars I can go see cars especially in Southern California we can go see cars every every week. in weekend. 10 miles take exit 83 onto the pipe to, to see cars every weekend there's something going on so it's not about the car itself like I mentioned and I say it to the owners and I don't mean it in a disrespectful way if I was here for likes and views I, I wouldn't be showcasing a 90s you know Honda Accord the market is just not there hence why they never made aftermarket parts for it because people don't think that 
they're worthy. And that's all it comes down to. You know, you, you can say otherwise, but companies believe this is the, 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 the car that can get us more revenue, we're gonna build parts for it. Preludes, no. It's just, it, it happens. And so, to me, I'm, I'm always more than grateful to learn about different cars that a lot of people don't have and a lot of people are not building. And I like, like for instance, Jeremy uh, Prelude. He has a whole bunch of parts that don't belong in that car enough for that car, but he modified it to make it fit. Now he did an amazing job that you can't notice, but it, it took a while, it took time, and he did that. And so, how would I know that? How would I know if he wouldn't have given me the opportunity to chat with him? And that was over a year ago. So, it's just, it just stories and, and, and individuals who, who are willing to share their stories, have a good time with me. I really thank you guys. So, I just want to share that with you guys. You know, it's, it's, it's you guys, the viewers, the people that share stuff, the comment, the builders. That's, that's who we're here for, people, stories. Um, and that's what keeps me going. There's a lot of stuff that is not fun that revolves around the channel. But I'm still willing to do it. Yeah, I'm, I'm still willing to spend an hour and a half commenting to every single comment that I see. Is that going to stop in the, in the future? I don't know. If, if the channel continues to grow, it, it, it does take a lot of time. I'll probably still spend that same hour to respond to people, but at some point I'm like, okay, <laughs> I gotta go do something else because we also have to be able to separate, you know, time management. But it's just you guys. Thank you for allowing me to spend mornings with you, cars and coffees, automotive events. Thank you for sending me, you know, DMs and messages. Hey, are you gonna stop by? Hey, man, you should you should stop by to this and. I really appreciate it. I don't ever take that for granted. And so I just want to say thank you. And um, that's what motivates me. That's what fuels me per se. And I hope that you guys are also fulfilled with the stories that we provide for you guys. And so we will continue to provide more stories. Catch you guys in the next one. We always go for the car and we stay for the person. Thank you so much. And uh, like I said, uh, stay, t stay tuned. More stuff to come.